And this person that asked me the question actually prefaced it with, listen, I'm not trying to come off as a snowflake and I'm not a particip participation <laughs> trophy advocate, but um, just a thought, a question with you guys. Right. My initial reaction was no, we're not going right. to do that. One, I think that it kind of diminishes the integrity of the draft. And like most drafts, if you're good, you're going to get picked first. Yep. And if you're not so good, you get picked towards the, the back. But um, who's to say that you're not going to add some significant points to your team? That's number one. Number two is this shouldn't be a pity party. And if I was an athlete, I wouldn't want the rule to force me to get picked second or fourth or sixth because then it'll have that asterisk of like, oh, yeah, well, Mike got picked, but because of the rule, he had to get picked type of thing. I honestly don't. Don't th and I think I speak for everybody. I honestly don't think it's going to be an issue. I honestly think that the those that know that they're not very good are looking at it like, okay, this is going to be for fun. I know I'm not good, not that good. You know, I'm you know Mr. Irrelevant. Do you guys know Mr. Irrelevant? Or do you know or no? No. You know Mr. Irrelevant? No. Oh, so Mr. Irrelevant is the name given to the last person picked in the NFL draft. It used to be in the twelfth round right. because. Particularly when they had, when the draft went to twelve rounds, it sh might be I think it's twelve. That last guy had probably zero chance of making the team, oh, so okay. they named him Mister Irrelevant, and it actually became like a like a staple. Like this yeah, guy's like Mister, right? Yeah. Like you are like they drafted, all right? And Mister Irrelevant is you know Bill Smith, whoever the guy got drafted. Now it's the se it's the last guy in the seventh round. So. Mr. 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 Mrs. Irrelevant will be picked. I don't think they're going to have a problem with it. Um, so what what are your thoughts on that rule? Um, I'm 50-50. Uh, I, I, you know, I spoke to you about it. I spoke to Ozzy. Um, I, I got to be honest. You guys have a little bit of a different stance when it comes to, to, to that. Um, what I will say is that I, I will pick um, my team... Yes, depending on on you know you know the strengths of a lot of the, the members, but I do have a little plan uh, derived that I derived that I will put in some of those scale athletes um, in there at early the early rounds uh, because that's just you know I think that keeps the the camaraderie and the spice going a little bit. Um, that's just me, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Ozzy probably is going to have a different stance. I will tell you that at the beginning of the draft, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people should expect Ozzy and I to take it seriously, and 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 we will be picking, you know, um, who who we know are the competitive guys in the gym. Not to say that we are neglecting, or I will neglect a scale at least, because like you mentioned earlier, I d I do know everybody who scaled, who can push themselves. But maybe I might pick a skill athlete who I know can push themselves, but they're not pushing themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fit them in there, and I'm going to show them, look, in the, op in the open, you can do this. You have that superpower. You can do it. Release it. So that's, I won't give away everything, <laughs> but that's my line of thinking right now when it comes to, quote, unquote, picking um, skill athletes. And you, Ozzy? My, my goal on that is that it kind of takes away the fun of drafting. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it 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 hinders like what we're able to pick from start to finish. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't want. And then also, I'm very competitive. Um, it's not it's not really made for you know like who's gonna win and all that stuff. But I like to win. Yeah. If you're walking faster than me, I'm gonna walk a little faster. Yeah. You know, that's that's who I am. Um, I'm gonna have fun. Right. But. I don't want to give my strategy away by saying what I'm about to say, but when it comes to this, the more, and I don't want people taking this out of context or anything, but the important ones are the skilled athletes. There's more skilled than there are RX. Right. So you're going to give more value to your team. Again, I'm probably saying this wrong or wording it wrong, but just because you're skilled doesn't mean you don't have value. Right. It's, it's, it's kind yeah, of what I'm right. trying to get at. Yeah. So well, that's a good point. I, I don't want people to shy away because right. cause I've, I've had this before. Oh, I don't want to sign up because I'm not that good or I'm not, you know, strong. Yeah. Or, trust me, you're going to be worth it. Like, it's going to be worth drafting you if you sign like, up. Like, I'll, I'll give this example. I want, I want the, the members to know, um, you know, we could be in the same page, in the same boat when it comes to, again, for that workout being a scale athlete. Okay, let's say I can move a prescribed weight. Let's say that for the workout they have a, 
uh, let's you know 225 clean and jerk yeah uh maybe i can do it twice but let's say you gotta do it for for reps i gotta be realistic and say mm-hmm. look i can't do it so am i you know uh you know gonna earn more by you know going scaled doing this doing that so i think that's that's what they they got to keep in mind that mm-hmm. it's an equal playing field when it comes to strategizing um the, the workouts and you know that type of thing i it's funny i'm listening to you guys and you guys are under under the assumption that you know who's going to be a scaled athlete who's not when i could turn around and say you guys could be dead wrong with your picks well, because if you look back at some of the historic crossword workouts seven minutes of burpees <laughs> Right, right. But five K row, again, there's no scale there. They they can exactly, either do it or they can't. Exactly. So every point's gonna count. But let me let me stick a pin in there. Look, mm-hmm. this is um, again, you kind of going off what you just said. We don't know who's you know exactly scaled and 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 RX because it's a, a watch Man, can come out the, the and it it could change exactly. like this. And the person that thinks who's this, who's scaled <laughs> all the while <laughs> might be able to do that RX. workout yeah. mm-hmm. so that that is a very important point that you brought up that Ozzy and I already spoke about that people that sign up are going to see that they can actually do stuff mm-hmm. RX um, so it doesn't really mean that you know you are scaled all the way through don't look at it that way just look at it as coming in neutral RX and if you need to scale something hey we'll figure it out <laughs>